Yeah. All right. Yeah. Feel good to be back? Feels good to be back, for sure. Yeah. What's the message this year, would you say? Uh, it, you know, there were a couple of things that we talked about. The biggest thing, if there's one that I'd like to get out there, is our physicality has to start, start happening yesterday. Uh, we know we're a good team. How do we become a, good, a great team? And, uh, you know, first and foremost, we have to understand that uh, the enemy of the great is the good. So uh, we can't get complacent. We got to be all in and we got to continue building on our narrative that we laid the foundation for last year, continued with this summer with our connectivity and our work ethic. And now going forward, we got we to gotta build on it. Where's the curiosity for you when you look at this roster and you enter training camp? Uh, how we handle uh, the expectations out there. Uh, I try to tell our guys that uh, um, you know the expectations, uh, especially from our fans, are high. You know, uh, which they should be because we showed we were a good team last year. Even around the the NBA world, the expectations are high. We went from I think one national TV game last year to 22. Uh, you know, we ended up I think playing on three last year because. The two that were added were, oops, you know, this team back, you know, this team couldn't do it or that team couldn't do it, and so they went to us. So, how, how do we, how do we handle expectations? And I tried to simply put it to our guys that, hey, we have to understand and acknowledge that, uh, yeah, the expectations are high, but our fans' ex expectations are our reality. You know, we expect to compete for a championship. So. Any of the noise that we hear out there, uh, you best believe that we're trying to attain that and more. And from a roster standpoint, you don't really have. As far as uh, uh, Darren Fox this year, you know, the, he was on a high level last year. Yeah. Now, he's, you know, you're looking for him to get that next plateau. What's your thoughts about him playing? No, he, he, I tell you what, he, he was absolutely freaking great this summer. Um, not only with his development, but he was basically here every single day uh, not just working out and work on on his game but he was around all of our young guys helping them elevate their game he took Keegan under his wing on a daily basis and uh, showed Keegan how to work how to get better as well as the other young guys when they got here too so uh, I, I'm excited about Foxy he's just barely scratching the surface of who he can be as a player um, which is scary, you know, it should be scary for everybody else. Uh, but he's also showing the ability to lead and lead at a high level. Mike, what when, do you when, 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 he, last thing, when he talks, I told him this other day, uh, there have been some camps that we, that uh, the guys got together at, and at the end of the camp, you know, I'm sitting there listening to them close the camp or end the day or whatever, and Foxy's always one of the guys that speaks up. And when he speaks, I'm 100% engaged now because I'm holding on to every single word that he says because of his growth, his maturity in that department. Sorry about that. Sorry. What do you make of uh, what's happened in the West this summer and the, the talent and the depth you guys are going to have to go up against? No, you know, a lot of teams have gotten better. You know, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be harder than last year for sure. Uh, we want that. We expect it. And if we expect to be champions, we're going to have to step up, face the music, and get through it. How do you feel about your positional like versatility between the two and the three, the three and the four? Do you feel like you have a little bit more options now? Yeah, again, I, I like the group that uh, uh, Monty and Wes assembled. You know, um, I'm excited about seeing uh, how we perform as a group when the lights come on, uh, but on paper and what we've seen so far in the pickup games or scrimmages and uh, our little get-togethers, I do uh, like what we have. This offense was obviously one of the best in basketball last year. I'm curious, how much, how much do you change from last year to this year, if at all? No, we, 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 we feel like we need to tweak some things, you know, and, and obviously uh, when you get into a, a grueling playoff series versus, you know, the four or five time NBA world champions in, in, in the Golden State Warriors, uh, they make you adjust and they throw things at you defensively that kind of make you sit back and go, hmm, okay, people are going to watch this film. So we need to change this, adjust that, and, and see if we can come up with something that still fits our style of play while combating the issues that we faced against the Warriors and some of the other teams during the course of the regular season. What does that look like? 
you like well, what, what kind of changes I mean obviously you don't have to go deep into detail but what are some things that may look different uh, we may add some things with our DHO game everybody knows we like to play we have a DHO game that's pretty effective especially between between Domas and Kevin and uh, a lot of times that comes out of the deep corner uh, I don't know if you guys remember, we moved that to half court. We moved those guys to half court and had it going uphill uh, so they couldn't sit on the top side and stop us from coming uh, over the top of the handoffs from the deep corner. That's just one that's straight, that was very obvious to everybody. There are others, too, that uh, we're going to make. There are other areas where we're going to make some changes offensively so that, you know, if we're in a physical series, uh, guys can't hold us and grab us and bump us and knock us off course to disjoint what we're trying to do offensively. We want to be able to guys, we want to continue to be able to give guys uh, space and the ability to have different options. If they take this away, boom, right now do that. If they take that away, boom, right now do this. And uh, so we're continuing to try to tweak it to be better uh, in those areas. Mike, when, when you say you expect to compete for, for a championship, yep. Uh, given your experience, what's the difference in terms of the day-to-day -day standard that a team has to have during a season when when that is the expectation versus what your expect or what your hopes were last year to just sort of break that playoff drought? Yeah, uh, again, like I said, uh, we have to understand, you know, that 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 the, the enemy of the great is the good, and uh, and most teams, and I say that because most teams are satisfied with being good. You know, because everybody, if everybody can live a good life at the salary they have the rest of their life and not knowing that they think that they can't get fired and all that, most teams would because most people in the U.S. have it pretty good. And uh, so I, I don't want our guys to get complacent because when you think that way, it's hard to be all in in the process of trying to become great. To go from here to here, my opinion, is pretty easy. To go from here to here, that is freaking hard. To go from good to great is hard. And uh, you know, it's hard because people don't want to deal, players, teams, organizations, groups, this applies to anybody. They don't want to deal with uh, being open and honest with each other. It's hard to hear constructive criticism, you know, but you need to be open and honest with each other so you, we can all hold each other accountable. It's hard to uh, come in every single day and go through the mental and physical stress of just trying to uh, go a few milliliters or a few centimeters, however you want to call it, to go from good to great. You know, it's it's, it's hard uh, to be put in uncomfortable positions and embrace that. So come playoff time, you know, you face some adversity, you've gotten out of your comfort zone. Now you're in deep in the playoffs, and you got to make adjustments, or you run into some adversity, and you've already experienced that and got through that as a team during the regular season. So now it may help you in a deep playoff run. You know, there are a lot of things that we will do on a daily basis, and we're going to call that winning the day. We want to win every single day that we're here. And part of that, doing those things, focusing on the details, focusing on our work ethic and our competitive spirit, believing in each other that we're going to succeed because we're playing the right way. So there are a lot of little things that I've already addressed to our team that we need to accomplish in order to go from good to great. The start of this training camp feel. You've been here for a year plus. You're coming off the playoff run versus last year when you were new. Your first year, still getting to know the guys. The, the disappointment of all those missed playoff seasons. How different does it feel year two for you than year one? Well, obviously there's a, a, a little bit of comfort because we have a, a lot of guys back and we're starting to form a nucleus that, in my opinion, most good teams or organizations out there have when it comes to moving forward as a, as, as a group or as a unit. Uh, and, you know, we're excited about the work that they put in and so the, the, over the summer and the connectivity that they had over the summer. So having uh, the nucleus, the group back, giving these guys a chance to grow and see if we can grow uh, with, from within uh, gives me and everybody else a little bit of a comfort zone because we've all been through a lot of stuff together. And so it's now just time to continue to build on that narrative as opposed to last year when you're coming in. We really didn't know much about anything. All we could do is hope, guess, assume, and pray. You know, and this year you have a little bit more to lean on based on the performance of, performance, uh, of last year and what we did over the summertime. All right, thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thanks,